Hello, I'm Javier Spooch, Business Development Manager of Invention. We are doing drone systems for more than 15 years now, and I'm going to show you some applications of drone technology for medical use. Welcome to this session on drones for healthcare revolution. First of all, I would like to introduce what is a drone. I'm sure that all of you have seen these small drones flying around or that maybe you even own one of these. Here at Invention, we are working for more than 15 years, working with different drone technologies. So depending on the use that we are giving to the drone, we must select the appropriate technology to be used. Here you can find some examples on different projects in which Invention has been involved. When coming to drone applications for medicine, we can find three main areas in which the drone technology is being developed. One of these is the delivery drones. So these drones are aimed for bringing different kinds of uh, cargo from one side to the other. These drones are mainly applied for two different applications. One is bringing the medical supplies to remote areas and the second one will be to establish a hospital network so we can quickly bring all kinds of supplies from one hospital to the other. The second area in which drone technology is growing is the first responders. In many applications, we need to bring different kinds of supplies that might be a defibrillator or a medical supplies from one point to the other because there has been an accident or something is happening requiring a fast response. So these drones are equipped with the technology to do this. And the third area in which we will hopefully soon see this technology is the air ambulance. These drones are capable of bringing a patient from one hospital to the other or from an area in which an accident has happened to the hospital, avoiding the traffic or any other factors slowing the patient transport. In order to ensure the safe drone integration within the airspace and to enable it to fly over populated or congested areas, there are a few challenges that we need to overcome. So first of all will be the communications, as we need to make sure that all drones are connected to the appropriate data centers and that can send real-time information on the health status of the drone and also receive new commands from the authorities or from the drone operator. We expect that soon all drones are equipped with an eSIM card that enable the communication of the drone through the LTE network. All this will happen with multi-network management so the operator can select the networks that better fits the, the area in which the drone is going to be operated and so the safety in communications can be ensured. These kind of drones transmit information regarding the health of the systems like the battery status, motor status and other data and also send real-time video so the operator can see in real time where is the drone and to make sure that there are no risks uh, nearby. Safe airspace integration is another challenge that the drone industry must overcome. For this we face two main activities. One is the integration with the air traffic. So we must provide means so the drones can fly in the same airspace that we are flying now, the manned aircrafts. So for this we must establish means for standardization and also we should provide means so the weather forecast gets involved in the drone route planning so we can make sure that the, once the drone mission is defined it will be able to fly in the weather conditions available. Sense and avoid is another challenge that we must overcome. 
when talking on sensor avoid we are referring to the ability of the drone to automatically avoid obstacles within the route. This can be collaborative sensor and avoid or non-collaborative one. The collaborative one assumes that the other drone is equipped with some kind of beacon or device that it's providing its position so the other drones can know it and can define the route avoiding any kind of collision. And when we are referring to non-collaborative sense and avoid, we are talking about birds or buildings or other obstacles in the route that are not giving any kind of feedback to the drone. In order to overcome these challenges, at Invention we have developed the Veronte Autopilot. This is a control system capable of controlling any kind of drone to perform a fully autonomous missions from takeoff to landing. In order to ensure the reliability of this control system, the Bronte Autopilot includes triple redundancy. It means that within the Autopilot we can find three complete Autopilot cores and an Arbiter module that is monitoring the health of all three and in case it detects a failure in one of these modules, it switches the control from one to the other. In order to enable the integration within the control airspeed, we have integrated a eSIM card, so the autopilot can directly connect to the LTE network for exchanging information on the health of the drone and receive commands from different data centers. ADSB is also included inside the autopilot for sharing the aircraft position with other drones or aircrafts flying nearby for enabling the collaborative sense and avoid. All this is developed following the strict requirements from a main aircraft certification as soon this is required for all drones flying in the airspace. On the communication side, uh, at Invention, we have developed the Bronte Cloud. So this permits drones to connect to the uh, common server in the internet for sending flight information and also they interconnect with other data services to get uh, weather information, and man traffic information or commands coming from the air traffic controllers or from the operator in the control station. MediControl is a real use case of drone technology applied for medical industry. Within this project, Invention is working together with Helicus and other companies to establish a network of hospitals equipped with a drone technology so they can quickly transfer any kind of medicines or requirement from one hospital to the other. This hospital includes a drone device installed on the rooftop that will automatically bring the goods from one hospital to the other. In order for this to happen, we are closely working with the authorities to get all the certifications and approvals needed to permit the autonomous flight of the drone from one hospital to the other without requiring any kind of human intervention. Thank you for your attention. I hope that this seminar has helped you to understand more about the drone technology. And here at Invention, we will keep working to enable drones to populate our skies.